Hi, thanks for joining me on our Controlling Costs tutorial. I'm Suzanne and today we're going to go through the three types of costs that make up your project, as well as how to manage your resources, expenses, and reporting costs. So in your project you have resource costs, your actual task costs, and expenses. So let's go first to your task costs. So here on my sample project under the task page, you'll see that there's a planned cost column and an actual cost column. If these aren't showing for you, of course, you can just click on the title bar named columns here and you can select to show those columns. These are entered manually by you. So you would enter the planned cost for each of your tasks in this column and then the actual cost of that task as it occurs. You can see down at the bottom of the screen under your task info pane, you can also enter the planned cost and the actual cost in the field down here and they will be updated directly on your plan as well. The second type of cost on your project is an expense. You access these under the Expenses tab in your project here. These are individual expenses for your project. You see some examples here from Contractors to Lunch. You simply create a new expense by clicking New, add the details, giving it a type which you can customize. If you want to assign this to a task, you simply select Task. That will bring up all my tasks on my project and I can select which one to assign it to if you have a task specific expense versus an overall project expense. Then you enter the date, amount, as well as if you want to name who this expense is assigned to. This can be a planned or actual cost and you can of course create this as a recurring expense like possibly a lease for a piece of equipment. You can also amortize the cost of an expense across the length of your project. Lastly, you might want to add a receipt or other type of document to this expense, which you can do so by clicking Add File at the bottom. So I'll close that out and go back to the task page. Probably the biggest expense on your project are your resources. The cost of resources is made up by the hours that they work and their hourly rate. You'll see here on my tasks I have actual effort. Again, this can be manually entered by you directly into the task sheet here or when your users are entering timesheets as well as if you're entering them on your resources behalf. Let's look at the My Home task screen where you can also enter your effort per task. The information here will flow through to your task page. I can add 50 hours of effort directly to this task and that will update on my plan. If you have a look at the resources under the All tab, You'll see that each of them has an hourly rate that is used. You can change this at any time. It will apply to any reporting you pull on your project as well as if you leave it blank, then your project default hourly rate will apply. If all of your resources are going to cost the same amount, you might just enter that amount at the Project Info tab. Let's have a look at the project dashboard to see what the budget plan and actual reporting looks like. So you'll see that's under the cost graph here, which reflects your budget. When you hover over, it tells you the overall budget for the project, which you can change on your info page. Next is my planned cost for the project. That's made up of my planned resource costs, so that's the hourly rate of each of your resources times the planned effort for each of your tasks. The other portion of that planned cost is your planned task costs as well as your planned expenses. These again are fields that you would enter yourself. So it takes these three together and it creates a total planned cost for your project and that's the cost as of today's date. 
Then the last bar, of course, are the actual costs. This is made up of actual expenses that we entered, as well as your actual costs against your task and your actual resource costs. Of course, for more detailed information, let's go to the reporting area, which is under All and Reports. Here, if you go to the Expenses option, you can pull a report for all of your actual expenses and costs, as well as planned expenses and costs. So you'll select the project and we'll view it on screen. This report shows me at a high level my total budget, actual expenses, and of course, planned expenses. As I scroll down the report, you'll see there's much more detailed information here. I have my actual expenses, actual task costs, the name of the task and the start and finish date, and again, the actual cost against each of those tasks. There are my actual resource costs. You'll see the effort against each of those resources, their hourly rate is displayed, and the total. Then down at the bottom are the planned costs. This is what I planned each of those tasks to cost, as well as my planned effort and resource costs there. This report is very handy. You can view it on screen like we did, share it via email, download a PDF, or export to Excel. With all of that information completed for your projects, when you go over to your portfolio dashboard, under the All tab, you can view the financial status of all of your projects, their budgets, their planned costs, and their tracking actuals to date here on the cost graph. Of course, as always, you can click straight through to the information on that project just by hovering over and then clicking on the icon. So we've covered the three cost types of resource costs, task costs, and expenses. I've shown you how to create an expense, how to enter task costs, both planned and actual, and pull reports to view that information. If you have any questions at all, please contact us in the support team. I hope you'll join me on our next video, Project Reporting.